Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, today is maintenance switchover day. Let me show you guys what we're working with. Bam! That's a good photo right there. <laughs> uh, so what we got going on today is we're taking the bagger and the dethatcher off the multi-force. We are adding the uh, mulch force, the dump force. We've got to switch around basically everything else. We also got to take off the billy goat. And this whole like weekend and all next week, it's all mulch all the time. So it's a busy day. We're gonna go through this together. Hopefully install this, show you guys a little switch room, switch room, and just basically get all the equipment ready for mowing. This is crazy. Hey, by the way, shout out to Mark. What up though? Ooh. There you go. Mark's uh, one of Rob's friends and uh, maybe you guys have seen him in a video before, but all right, let's check it out. So we've got our handy dandy instructions. And it's like, put the thing in the hole. So that's funny right there, the storage locker guy who manages the whole place, he's like, he's like, dude, I saw you guys on the cameras. I had to come take a peek. <laughs> I wanted to come see all the cool stuff, he said. So what, what were you figuring out so far? Looks like to start off, we're gonna have to take this off. That bracket off? This bracket right here. Okay. Saying it has to come off and then we replace it with this guy. That bracket. Okay, so probably articulates on this. Yeah, that's what it, uh, All right. it's gonna have it upside down. Foreman Rob, he's an engineer. All right, so really quick, these are the four bolts we removed. And so this plate should, oh, oh. I was like ready to rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, this is gonna take so much. There you go. Yeah. Um, and then we got a different plate. And then this is the other plate. You guys can see how they're different. One has the uh, flat front, one has this front. So you guys might get confused. This might be where we got confused, a little bottleneck. So that's gonna go on like so, right, Rob? Yep, right on there like that. All right. All right, so just so you guys know where we're at, a couple minutes later, about 20 minutes later for us, <laughs> what happened was the bracket, show them down there. Yeah. So the originally the hydraulics are up top, and for the mulch force, we're gonna have to invert it. So it's so, gonna yeah. Like this, but the problem is that the... When it's up here, the big one is usually on the left side, or the little one is actually on the right side. Yep. So when we try to do it and flip it over, they right. be oriented wrong, and plus there's just a lot of tension under. On the, uh, the hoses. On the so hoses. what we had to do is, uh, where are we at in this drum? Uh, so we had to get the large quick uh, disconnect to the outside. So we had to basically remove the uh, quick yeah. dis so disconnect. That's what it should look like. That's what it should look like. So I was uh, actually talking to the Toro team, the Toro engineers really quick, and uh, they might have to update the manual a little bit. So any which way, you might have to take the tips of the quick disconnects off, and then that way you can get the hoses kind of inverted. It's fun navigating through this stuff together. That way we're all learning and trying to figure it all out and um, keeping them on their toes, right? All right, so we're coming back. Rob, where are we at? You're actually a lot, uh, you're actually pretty ingenuitive over here. Yeah, I'm just staring Mark, how's he doing? Too oh, it's going. It's going, man. He's not doing too bad. So where are we at? So, we are here now. We're about to pick up this and then set the pads that are on each side here onto the actual red frame of the mower. So right. it should sit on these. So it rests on the frame. And then this whole part right here. This will slide through this hole which will have this t-bar through it which will then connect the whole thing and then the lower bracket will get hooked on here which will flip down afterwards after we have it so that's set. where it kind of rests all right let's see how it goes uh, but yeah don't lift by here right don't lift by the bucket no. okay all right this front end can Wait, wait. Oh, nope, just bring it right there. I can. You're like right there. A little more towards you. This actually has the key. So, I, I see it. Keep pushing it. Push. You're there. Okay. Get the pin. 
<laughs> That's like the longest grade eight bull I've ever but seen. But yeah, see this too? It has another hole up here, like where this hole is. Okay. That way when you put this through that loop, it loops oh. into it as well. Okay. So well, you might want to move your hand for a second. You're good. I got Just you. Head too. You guys good? Yeah. Oh, gotta lift it up a little bit. Lift it up? Yeah, like I... Keep, keep, keep put the bull in there already. It's in. Uh, is this one like flipping here again or no? Nothing? No. Um, can you push it forward more? Nice. Good? Right. Yep. Yep. Cool. Pop that up. There you go. I got the pin. All right. All right. So we have made it towards the end. This is what you guys are all waiting for. You want to fire this thing up, dude? Yeah. I'm ready. pretty sweet that is pretty sweet it really is i enjoy it already. i think it, they said uh it's rated for 250 pounds so that's a big bucket oh it really is. i mean this is twice the size of a wheelbarrow for sure no more wheelbarrowing for us, <laughs> no more wheelbarrowing for us. <laughs> save the backs what do they say the uh morale will improve once the uh or whippings will stop once the morale improves <laughs> so uh any which way so guys this is mulch force and um this is just a little plus one video i wanted to do for toro and just show you guys how this thing works uh shout out to mark and rob uh, but definitely mark as well for help, helping us uh, put this thing together that's pretty sweet i'll tell you what uh so we're transitioning from cleanups and dethatchings to mulch week this week uh by the time we're shooting this video if you guys want to keep up with us on instagram you can see the rest of it in action so anyway mulch force check it out if you got comments uh leave them down below and i'll do my best to answer them as we go through the week here doing mulch and using this uh new machine over here from toro the uh, mulch force check it out all right guys have a great day we'll catch up with you here on the next one